Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Mufida and I'd like it if you click down below to subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell notification button to get notified each time I upload a video. The links to my social media platforms are down below in the description box. So if you want to connect with me, feel free to follow me on there. In today's video, something near and dear to my heart. You guys know how much I am obsessed with body and skincare. So today we're gonna be talking about how to fade hyperpigmentation on specific parts of the body We're gonna talk about hyperpigmentation on the knees the elbows the armpits in between the thighs You know those areas that are very very difficult to clear hyperpigmentation from I have personally struggled with that and I'm still struggling But I'm working on it and I'm seeing a lot of improvement So I figured that I would share with you guys what I'm doing currently So you guys might pick and choose and see whatever works for you. So if you want to see See how today's video goes down carry on watching and let's get right into it straight into it I have divided the things into in shower and out shower things that you can do to clear hyperpigmentation on the knees elbows and between the thighs and armpits those places are very very difficult to deal with when it comes to hyperpigmentation because of friction consistent shaving chafing the thighs when they rub together it's chafing I personally have thick thighs my mom has thick thighs all my sisters do have thick thighs and when I was growing up my mom um, you know showed me how to clear up hyperpigmentation from in between my thighs because she dealt with that I personally do not have any hyperpigmentation between my thighs because I've been working on that for the longest time as for hyperpigmentation on my knees elbows and my armpits I am working on it and I've seen a lot of improvement and I just figured I will not gatekeep I will just show you guys exactly what I'm doing to clear it you guys might pick and choose whatever works for you so we're gonna start with the in shower things that I do let's start with the first thing that I do when I get into the bathroom I go in with lemons I know that lemons look different around the world but this is what lemons look like in Ghana this is a lemon that has been halved so what I do is when I get into the bathroom I usually like to do my oral hygiene before I you know get into the bathroom to wash off and stuff like that so before I brush my teeth I use half of a lemon I usually just pluck out all the seeds from it and what I do is I rub it on my elbows and my knees in between my thighs in between my thighs I do not go up into my lady bits I just literally avoid that area and focus on in between my thighs also I don't know if anybody else experiences this but using a deodorant like the anti-perspirant deodorant especially when you spray your armpits and you are about to shower when you are rubbing like your soap or sponge there it doesn't lather as much so rubbing the soap there is going to take some minutes before the soap actually lathers there and personally I feel like using antiperspirant deodorants which I still use by the way because it's hot and I don't want to go around smelling terrible or <laughs> smelling ripe so I use my antiperspirant deodorant so I can smell fresh all day so what I do to clear off that, you know, feeling or the anti-perspirant perfume is I use a lemon and I rub it under my armpits. I do my elbows, my knees, and in between my thighs. I leave it there for five to 10 minutes, which is about the time that I take to brush my teeth, scrape my tongue, floss. If I want to do like a face mask, that's what I do. Lemon helps the body odor. Growing up in my home, my mom has always had lime or lemon in the house. Well, when you come back from school, you rub your armpits with it and then you sit for some time before you go in a shower and it really helps with body odor my mom didn't personally make us use antiperspirants deodorants until we were like teenagers and when we were younger she would just use lemon to like rub the armpits and it, we, we didn't have any body odor we didn't smell bad the whole day like even if you sweat like you don't smell as bad I don't know if it makes sense but yeah using lemon under the armpits is really really great to help hyperpigmentation and odor I go into the bathroom I wash it off before I start my body care before I knew of any other way to clear hyperpigmentation between my thighs my mom showed me how to use lemon in between my thighs and I've not had issues with hyperpigmentation in between my thighs so now I'm using it under my armpits my knees and elbows and I'm seeing a lot of improvements what happens is it just really makes the place super soft 
soft and whenever I just rub my sponge there on my soap it just goes smoothly and lemon has a little bit of acid in it so it helps but I'm gonna throw this out there please if you just freshly shaved your armpits please do not use lemon because it's really gonna burn it burns don't use it wait uh, two or three days after you freshly shaved or waxed then you can use your lemon under your armpits so yeah let's move on to the next point the next in shower thing I'm gonna tell you guys is this as you can see I use it this is kojic acid soap this is the brand koji san there are so many other brands of kojic acid soap on the market and you can feel free to purchase whichever you are able to get your hands on but be mindful because there are lots of people who are selling fake kojic acid soaps this is a staple if you want to fade hyperpigmentation on your body especially under your armpits knees elbows and in between your thighs what I do is I alternate so instead of using lemon I go in with this I put a little bit of water on it I rub it in between my hands and I rub it under my armpits on my elbows in between my thighs I wait for five to ten minutes I do this in the night if I didn't mention I just leave it on there so that it can work its magic this is very very potent some people use it on their face I personally like to use it on my chin area and maybe my jawline if I have hyperpigmentation but this is too strong to use on my face so I definitely will not suggest you using this and leaving it on your face please do not do that my face is way too sensitive for this but I personally like to use it under my armpits you know knees elbows and in between my thighs leave it for five to ten minutes and allow it to do its work I go into the bathroom and you know I do my shower routine this is an amazing soap if you can get your hands on the original one girl do get it and try it out and let me know what you think this one you can use whilst you are showering these are body scrubs that you can use to um, you know physically exfoliate those areas with in between the thighs and you know the armpits I personally suggest that you exfoliate your armpits before shaving or before you go and get a wax because it really really prevents ingrowns and ingrowns are what usually cause most of the hyperpigmentation we experience so I suggest that you exfoliate your underarms your lady bits please do not use it inside your lady bits girl please do not do not put anything in there just around and in between your thighs you would physically exfoliate them um, you know wrap the scrub over there and then leave it for some time maybe five minutes maybe whilst you're doing something else you just leave it on there let it do its magic and then you can go ahead and wash it off and do your shower routine so I'm going to suggest some scrubs that I've personally tried that work for hyperpigmentation on the knees elbows in between the thighs you know the drill so yeah the first one I'm gonna show you guys is the Naturium KP body scrub and mask this is an AHA BHA and PHA body Body exfoliator it has 8% glycolic acid 0.5% salicylic acid 2% PHA these are the actives that work in this scrub I can tell you that chemical exfoliation is one of the best things that I have discovered and I'm using it in every way that I can you need to be mindful um, do not overdo it maybe do it two to three times a week when you're exfoliating those parts but yeah this is a very very nice body scrub it has a lot of products and it is 226 grams just eight ounces that's a lot of products because you are using it for just a couple of areas on your body and not all over your body so I feel like it should last you a while another potent scrub is the KP bump eraser body scrub this is from first aid beauty it has 10% AHA and it is safe for sensitive skin this one has glycolic acid and lactic acids that also help to resurface the top layer of the skin and it has pumice buffing beads to physically exfoliate and help improve skin texture smoothing away bumps roughness and scaly areas this one tells you what it actually does you know that for the elbows and knees they are scaly areas it's very very difficult to exfoliate or clear hyperpigmentation from that place this is perfect for that area because it's going to physically buff off the skin while chemically exfoliating the place as well it has the chemical exfoliant actives in it and it also has the physical properties of a physical body scrub or a physical scrub or a physical exfoliant so yeah this is an amazing scrub it's a little bit on a pricey side but I feel like with eight ounces it's a lot of product to just focus on specific areas of the body so it's gonna last you a while I personally had this since January and I've been using it for my lady bits my underarms knees and elbows I especially use it for my lady bits or my underarms if I'm going to be shaving so I do that physically and chemically exfoliating
exfoliate that place before I go ahead and shave. When it comes to ingrowns, I can tell you that I experienced far less ingrowns when I started doing the exfoliation before shaving and I really, really, really enjoyed. I've also seen lightening with some of the hyperpigmentation that I have had over the years. So I feel like this is an amazing scrub. It's an amazing way to help with hyperpigmentation on these areas. The next thing I want to show you guys is this body scrub. They don't have any active exfoliants in them. They are just basic sugar scrubs. This is the Dr. Teal sugar scrub. It has coconut oil and essential oils. It has moisturizing properties, butters and oils like shea butter, coconut oil and avocado oil, which moisturize the body and prevents it from getting dry. And you know, the knees and the elbows are places that always get dry. Like they are constantly ashy. They are on the affordable side as compared to the chemical exfoliants that I've showed you guys. I personally feel like chemical exfoliants work better in my opinion and you see an improvement faster these basic sugar and salt scrubs are okay because they help to moisturize those areas when a place is dry and ashy it definitely looks rougher so using a sugar scrub or salt scrub on your knees elbows armpits you know those areas are not as bad as just leaving them like that in my opinion so getting a sugar scrub is also gonna help with you know moisturizing the ashy areas the dry areas it's gonna help with making that place look really really nice and soft so we're gonna move on to the out shower things that I do to help with lightening of my armpits elbows knees and inner thighs or thigh area there's so many things you can do so I'm gonna just show you a few things and a few products suggest so a few products to you guys just in case you're interested you can go ahead and get them so the first thing I'm going to show you guys is this toner. This is the Ordinary's Glycolic 7% Toning Solution. It's a toner. Usually toners are used on the face, but I personally don't use this on my face. It's way too strong for me. I've used it before and I definitely enjoyed it while it lasted, but eventually it sensitized my skin. I feel like if your skin is not as sensitive as mine, you can definitely get away with using this product. Please use SPF if you use it on your face. So what I do with this now, I use it under my eyes armpits in between my thighs and my elbows and knees this is very 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 potent it's very strong and it really does work everything I've spoken about here works they work I'm not gonna kid you like they work to so just put a little bit on a cotton round and you're gonna use that to go under your armpits on your knees on your elbows in between your thighs you know where you're experiencing hyperpigmentation it's going to exfoliate that area for you you're gonna see the lightening a little bit later as time goes on this stuff works but please let me throw this out there if you just shaved or you just waxed please don't use this under your armpit it's gonna burn you please don't do that and do not use this every day under your armpits especially i think you can get away with using this on your knees and elbows every day because those areas are very tough to deal with they are scaly and dry and rough so i feel like they can handle this product every day but for the folds the inner portions of your body the places that are always covered and have folds and stuff like your armpits in between your thighs please do not use this product every day it's gonna overly sensitize that area and i suggest that you don't use it every day please use use it maybe two or three times a week you're still gonna see a lot of improvements there so far as you are consistent with it another product that I'm gonna be telling you guys I've not seen a lot of people talking about it but this is one of the most potent products I've used to deal with ingrowns hyperpigmentation especially in my bikini area this is the vanish PBF chroma bright this has properties of skin brightening it helps with ingrown hair relief razor or waxing bumps it also comes as a roll on this is how it comes so you literally just you know roll it on your skin i feel like this is the best especially with the bikini area this really helps with lightening those areas up it really helps with ingrowns it prevents ingrowns and it has glycolic acid it has lactic acid and it has salicylic acid so if you are looking to get a product that helps with lightening the bikini area or helps with ingrowns i suggest you get this product it is a little bit on the price side but I feel like it is worth it if you are not gonna get any of these you might as well get this again do not put it inside your lady bits please avoid that use it on the sides on top of it but not inside it please 
please. Another step that helps with the hyperpigmentation is retinol. You guys know that I've been using retinol on my face for some time and I've incorporated retinol into my body care and it really does help with lightening hyperpigmentation. I'm gonna suggest two retinol products for you guys. One is on the affordable side and one is a little bit pricey but both work. They have active ingredients of retinol and they are body moisturizers so I suggest that you get them and it's gonna help with the cell turnover. That's what retinol does and eventually you know slot off the dead skin. So whilst you're exfoliating you are using something to help with the turnover so it's gonna lighten your hyperpigmentation as time goes on. The first and affordable product I'm gonna show you guys is the Verse Press Restart Gentle Body Retinol. It has active ingredients of retinol like I said and it also has squalene and cocoa butter which are very moisturizing for the body. So like I said your knees and elbows are quite rough and dry and ashy. This is gonna help with cell turnover and also hydrate that area. This is Slather from Topicals. It's an exfoliating body serum. It helps with textured skin. Its active ingredients are retinol, lactic acid, urea, and squalene, which is gonna help with cell turnover, exfoliate those areas, and lighten those areas as time goes on. So you can get your hands on either of these products. It's gonna help with lightening your knees, elbows, armpits, and in between your thighs. So now we are the last part of this video. What I'm gonna show you guys is another product that helps with discoloration and lightening of dark areas on the body. This is the Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Body Treatment. It improves the appearance of hyperpigmentation and dark spots on the body. The active ingredient in this is tranexamic acid which helps with reducing the overproduction of melanin which um, you know comes about when you heal or have hyperpigmentation on your body. I personally heal with hyperpigmentation so this is one thing that I use all over my body to help with overproduction of melanin on my body. When I say overproduction of melanin, I'm not talking about completely stopping the production of melanin. No, I definitely do love my melanin. I love my skin and I do not want to change the color of my skin. What I'm focused on is lightening the dark or over dark areas of my body, like marks from mosquito bites and scratches and stuff like that. Marks from friction and chafing, which is my knees, elbows and in between my thighs. So I feel like this is an amazing product. What you do is you rub it on those areas leave it for some time and then you can go ahead and put on your moisturizer that you're gonna be using considering using it for just a few areas on your body I feel like it's gonna last you a while so definitely if you can get your hands on it go ahead and invest in it so the last thing I'm gonna show you guys is this oil you guys can see I use it a lot I really really love it this is an affordable body oil it smells great and it really does work it's from Palmes and it's the Palmes cocoa butter formula with vitamin E is a skin therapy oil. It helps with the appearance of scars, stretch marks, dry, damaged skin, and even skin tone and aging skin. I put a lot of emphasis on the dry, damaged skin because the knees and the elbows are very, very dry. When you finish putting on your moisturizer, you can go ahead and go in with a little bit of this oil, rub it on your elbows and rub it on your knees to seal that moisture in there and to help moisturize that area. And over time, you're gonna experience lightening of those areas. I'm gonna go ahead and list all that I've mentioned down below in this video. I definitely do not use all these things at once. I use them as and when I can. I definitely have seen a lot of improvements and I thought to share it with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Can you let me know down below which of these you're gonna try and if you've tried any of these products before. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Share this video if you care and I'll see you guys in my next one. Take care guys. Bye.